One key thing to understand how options really work is understanding how stock price movement affects options prices. In this video, we'll explain how this actually plays out using a fictional company with hypothetical examples, but using real world data so you can get a rough idea of how these financial instruments work. Understanding the basics of how stock prices affect option prices will give you a general understanding of why options are extremely powerful, but come with their trade-offs. Let's get into it. Imagine a fictional company called Toaster. Toaster is in the business of selling smart toasters. And get this, they recently developed a new technology that will prevent toast from ever burning, or so they say. Now, some people are excited about this, but not very many. Let's suppose you've been a longtime toaster fan and you really understand the toast market. You think that the stock could really soar. And maybe you've heard that options can help increase one's potential gain. So you wanna know how purchasing a bullish call option would play out. Suppose that right now the stock is trading at $60. Since this event is in roughly three weeks, let's suppose you opt to purchase an option that expires in four weeks. Usually you can purchase an option for many different strike prices, but let's focus on three of them categorically. One is in the money, which is to say below the current stock price. One is at the money, which is to say about roughly at the current stock price. And one is out of the money, meaning that it's above the current price of the stock. So what would happen to each of these options premiums? The first option has a strike price of $45. It's in the money by $15 and costs $1,700. The second option has a strike price of $60, the current price of the stock. It's at the money and costs $270. And the last option has a strike price of $75. It's out of the money by $15 and costs only $3. Now what happens to the premium, the price of each of these options contracts if the stock price of toaster shoots up to $69 immediately. The in the money option would be worth $2,600, a 53% gain. The at the money option would be worth $1,170, a 333% gain. The out of the money option would be worth $4, a 33% gain. Notice that the option that is out of the money is cheapest because the stock has to move more to make any money. As a rule of thumb, the further out of the money an option is, the less expensive it will typically be. But hold on a second. The out of the money option yielded a substantial gain and could be sold immediately for an impressive trade. One takeaway might be, if your option is going in the right direction and it still has some time value, you don't have to wait till expiration to sell it. As you can see, the at the money option actually had the best result. One way to approach options is to think of them as finding the sweet spot that yields the greatest ROI, if your prediction about the market is correct. But the strike price isn't the only thing that can change the value of an option. Let's take a look at options with the same strike price, but with expirations three months out instead. The first option has a strike price of $45. It's in the money by $15 and costs $1,800. So why does it cost more than the four weeks option? Because it has more time. This is called the time value of the option. The second option has a strike price of $60, the current price of the stock, it's at the money, and it costs $375. And the last option has a strike price of $75. It's out of the money by $15 and costs $5. As you can see, the options that have longer expiration periods tend to cost more because you're paying for that additional time value the stock has more time to reach your goal. Now, what happens to the premium of each of these contracts if the stock price of Toaster shoots up to $69 immediately? The in the money option would be worth $2,700, a 50% gain. The at the money option would be worth $1,275, a 240% gain. And the out of the money option would be worth $8, a 60% gain. These options with a longer time period aren't too different. In general, the more in the money an option is, the more it behaves like a stock. The sweet spot was once again the at the money option. It saw the largest gain because it gained intrinsic value. At a strike of $60 with a stock price of $69, that contract is now worth $9 at expiration. The out of the money gains 60%, which is still sizable, but the stock still has a long way to go before that option gains intrinsic value. Please note, this is a simplified model. In reality, a multitude of factors can affect the prices of options contracts. Now, while this is a simplistic blueprint, the key takeaway here is that generally speaking, in the money options act more like the stock price. At the money options offer enhanced risk reward and the apparently cheap 
out of the money options are unlikely to expire with any value. And even though they seem like a good bargain, they often are not. Happy trading.